Meals on Wheels volunteers deliver food to housebound clients, rain or shine. The following stories are told entirely in the words of the people who live them, the volunteers and recipients of Meals on Wheels. kind of weather. Well, they, they're always a priesty, but particularly weather like this, you know, if if they could get out, they wouldn't want to get out on a day like this, for sure. And uh, we make it possible for them to care for themselves without relying on other institutions. Hi there, lady. It's been wonderful for me, really, because after I lost my husband, I fell apart there for a year, and I didn't do anything but write out to the Garden of Memories. I didn't eat. I fell I went down to 130 pounds, but now I'm real healthy. I only have to go to the doctor once every three months. Our program is visible. They're good stewards of the, of the community's money, too. Such a great share of our total budget is just buying food. When the trays come down the line, I make sure that the proper food is involved. Uh, a lot of clients can not have tomatoes, pasta, things like that. Because we do try to, we have the dietitians that actually make up these meals. and. Uh, to make sure that they're correct for the client. And I think I'm entitled to it. I'm 81 years young. The storm that uh, came ashore yesterday caused a flooding, forced road closures, and left uh, 140,000 people without electricity. I'm sure grateful to Meals on Wheels because she's been on oxygen for since December a year ago. And I'm a caregiver for her. See, they, they give cereal for breakfast and milk, and then they give uh, sandwiches and juice and so forth. And then for dinner, they give you a nice tray. So when Mama says she's hungry, in five minutes, I got dinner ready. It's all there, all ready for me. And the, uh, <clears throat> the volunteers that deliver I look forward to them coming every day because they not only deliver, but they're friendly visitors. And we made friends with all of them. And we wouldn't part with our, with any of them. It's so nice. If you can be of some value to somebody else, uh, that's what this uh, game is all about. And you know, we have 26 routes and they have to be 26 different people here every day to make these deliveries. And another thing, this is a United Way project too, you know, and uh, without them, I, a lot of things we couldn't do, uh, which we appreciate very much. If it wasn't for Meals on Wheels, we just couldn't survive because I wouldn't be able to cope with it. We'd have to probably put her in a home, and that I don't want. There's a lot of water running on the road, and there is a real problem with hydroplaning. Uh, oh, Meals on Wheels gives a nutritional meal every time. It's not merely a meal that's thrown together. It's picked by dietary people to fulfill their needs. And we fill in the other end of them. We deliver this meal, and we fulfill the, the need, I'd say at least once a day, to have someone to say hi to. Hi, kid. Meals on wheels. Oh, hi, uh, Butch. <laughs> little rain on us a little bit. Ready? Look at us. You, you, what are you doing? You're wearing your birthday dress, aren't you? Yes, I'm wearing Give me my hug. Come on. <laughs> You'd like, are you Irish? Oh, uh, Irish Basque. Well, I'm Scotch Irish. But you know, there's a little, um, there's my, uh, there's my little shamrock. That's, and my grandson. My other kids, you know, I feel like uh, they don't remember I was ever in their life, and I kind of took their pictures off the wall. 
I don't have a car and I have a hard time getting around and I'm 68 and have multi health problems and I'm too tired to go to the store, you know, and I'm too tired when I get home to cook it and if I get that far then I'm too tired to chew it. And uh, I, yeah, it's been a blessing for me with no family around. One Sunday we see about like 15 people. Almost all my friends that have kids say, wow, that's really great because they see the benefit for the kids to be delivering rather than always be me, 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 but giving something back to someone else. In fact, we've taken friends of theirs along, and if we can take a friend, they're so proud to show what they do. So you've been staying dry in all this rain we've been having, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't tomorrow it's going to start raining again. It's amazing that so many people can be positive that have so little or that are so sick and have something nice to say. And we have, we have meals and wheels. Just, just in time. For me, I'm diabetic. And I like it because no grease, no nothing. It's pretty good for me. That's why I feel more better. Salvador here, who's diabetic, he's getting the meals he needs in, in order to maintain his health. And he said it makes him feel better. That's, and that's the key. Like if my husband's gone and it's just me, I don't care what I eat. <laughs> and I can imagine they feel the same way. You know, it's just harder cooking for one. You don't want to make anything. You just eat Pop-Tarts or something. <laughs> A bag of popcorn. One day, one gentleman wasn't home and his door was open. And I was going to go to the office of the complex where he lived. And on the way, I saw him at the laundromat. And I was like, so relieved. <laughs> but. And it hit me then that it's it's more to me than just dropping the meals off. I I don't know, I get some kind of um, attachment to the people, Mama, too. Look. I know it's not going to get me to heaven. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm doing it for gain. I do get a personal reward. I, I feel really good about it. And if there's something that I could do to give back to the community and give back to people, then I wanted to do it. It's real special. <laughs> I know them all on the routes that I deliver now. And they're, uh, they're just real neat and genuine. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we've morning. become good friends. Great, Mrs. Martin. 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 Hey, Papa. How are you? How are you? Good morning. Great. The reason why we went on wheels and wheels that they stopped her from using the stove, and we have to use the microwave for any type of cooking we do. And uh, the type of cooking and the type of food that we need, we can't, we can't do it on the microwave. And we felt out that the meal going to would be better for us. Well, I think it's nice. <laughs> Beat me cooking. Uh, yeah. The food is good. The organization is good. Everything is, is set up on a regular food schedule. It's not one of these things where you go in and don't know what you're supposed to do and yeah. can't find out. Uh, it's so fundamentally sound, and they do such a good thing. It's a good program. It gives you a nice, warm feeling, and nobody knows you've done it but you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. What we like about Meals on Wheels, well, honestly, I don't know how we would manage very well right now without them. But we found everything and everybody so wonderful. Even the lady from the county came by to introduce us to Meals on Wheels and tell us about it. We said, no, well, we can't do that. She said, you can't do that. Why can't you? You're entitled to it. And it's simply wonderful, and we thank God for it. And even a few days ago, when we had all of this, the rain, nothing stopped the, you know, the people who would bring the dinners in. Meals on Wheels, Mr. Lyon. These people depend on someone coming in. Sometimes we're the only people they see. They're dependent on the food that you bring. Most of them have very little in their cupboards and very little in their refrigerators. So what you're bringing, they're really looking forward to. You've got to work very hard all your life before you can come to a place like this. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm taking it with the best grace that I can. I'm making terrible mistakes. No. Well, I don't... well, you'd think I 
was giving them the world. And we don't think we're doing the most heroic thing in the world. It's just very, it's just like being a neighbor, a good neighbor. The delivery of Meals on Wheels is based on nutritional need because of inability to shop and or cook. As well as delivering meals prepared in our Pacific Grove kitchen, Monday through Friday, rain or shine, Meals on Wheels of the Monterey Peninsula also offers hot noon meals five days a week at senior centers in Marina, Monterey, Seaside, Share Rehab Center, and at the Sally Judd Griffin Center in Pacific Grove. At the Sally Judd Center, they offer health maintenance activities, exercise classes, and recreational support and assistance activities. You can support this service by giving to Meals on Wheels or by becoming a volunteer. Our services meet the goals of Healthy People 2000. Meals on Wheels of the Monterey Peninsula, 375-4454.